in this example, guys, if we need to subtract this function, again, we need to understand that this represents this f minus k of x is just telling us to subtract f of x minus k of x. That's all it's asking us to do, right? So do we know, do we have k of x and f of x defined? Of course we do, right? So this is x minus 3 minus 1 over x minus 2. Now we just need to go ahead and subtract them. Now, again, remember what I told you about some of the things you guys are not going to remember how to do, right? You might not have forgot already how to subtract rational expressions. So let's stop right there and let's just say, well, the most important thing that Mr. McLogan wanted me to know from this lesson is one, how to apply the operation. I did it. It's just not simplified yet, right? But that's not the major issue. We at least applied the operation. Good for us. The next thing is <laughs> identifying the domain. We're subtracting. So the domain is the intersection of our two functions. So x minus 3, the domain of that is? Starts with an all. All real numbers, right? Negative infinity to infinity. Uh, the domain of k of x is going to be all real numbers except 2, two right? So I am hoping that this idea of writing the domain is getting rather simple for you guys. So, if I want to look at this domain here, I have all real numbers. And then I have a function that has all real numbers except for 2. So where are those two domains intersect? Right? You're looking for the intersection. When are they both true? All real numbers except for 2. So there we go. You don't need to simplify it to get the answer there. Right? You can apply the operation and find the domain without simplifying it. Now, let's do the simplified version because you should know how to do this. If it's way over your head, you totally forgot about it, don't worry, guys. We'll spend more time on this in chapter three. Um, but you guys should know some very basic um, operations here because I believe we did do this in your what you need to know section. Um, if you're going to add a one thing that's not an expression that's not a fraction, and then one that is a fraction, first thing you do is write them as a fraction. Then remember, if you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to have common denominators. Well, what's the common denominator of 1 and x minus 2? Well, um, the easy way to find a common denominator is just to multiply denominators to at least get a common denominator, right? So if I multiply this, I get x minus 2 times an x minus 2. And then obviously now they're both going to be x minus 2. Just remember, you have to whatever you multiply the numerator, you have to multiply it in the denominator. I'm going to show my work here coming down here. So therefore, I have an x minus 2 times an x minus 3 minus 1 all over my common denominator, x minus 2. I can now multiply that and then subtract 1. So x times x is x squared. Let's see, this is going to turn into a um, minus 5x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. But if I subtract 1, that's going to give me a positive 5. All over x minus 2. Now let's just confirm our result. That would be my simplified answer, right? Um, what is the domain of this? Just thinking in your head. All real numbers except for 2, right? So I just wanted you guys to see that relationship. Again, guys, if you're getting stuck with that, like that's not the major portion of this. Like, just make sure you guys can at least apply the operation and identify the domain. All right? Now, the next thing is evaluating this function. 